Hello boys and girls, peas and carrots, and welcome to this Pixel Mod installation. So what you want to do is you want to go to pixelmonmod.com, then you want to click on downloads, and then you want to go down to where it says Pixelmon 3.1.1. You want to click the Forge link. Once you click the Forge link, you'll go to an AdFlow page where you wait 5 seconds for your mod for Forge to download. You click Skip Ad at the top right. Then in the bottom left corner of your web browser, it should say something like this. You want to press Keep, and then you want to go back to the Pixelmon website. Now you're back on the Pixelmon website, you want to go back down to Pixelmon 3.1.1 and you want to click download under links. Then you have to wait in for a ad flow page here and click skip ad. That will make you come to a website where you have to wait 13 seconds for your mod to download. Um, yeah, they want you to get the max ad graph obviously. Then you want to click download Pixelmon 3.1.1. Once you've downloaded this, should come up in the corner as a oh you should go to a media fire page where you have to type in a capture which is uh, watch out for pop-ups which is in my case four eight seven five or something like that <laughs> once you've pasted that in you want to go authorize download in the bottom left corner you sh should see Oh, you want to click download, right? Oh, I know what to do. Then you want to close your pop-ups. Then you want to get, hit keep. Then you want to go and show downloads. So you've got them for reference later. Now the installation will begin. So what you want to do is you want to go to your micro folder. You can find this by going to your profile and clicking the where the things are what you just saw basically and copy that file directory into your um, explorer like this and then you want to c copy your minecraft folder dot minecraft folder and this will make a copy of the folder once you have copy you'll want to rename it so it's something like dot minecraft backup or something that you can remember that's easy to know that it is a backup then you have one folder stuff in and the other folder is dot minecraft the original dot minecraft folder you want to delete everything so just control a delete this will take some time what well, if you get an error message like this you want to click try again once you've closed the launcher so now you have a clean minecraft folder and a dirty one so you want to run Minecraft. You want to make sure that uh, you want to put in your login details, of course. Once you put in your your login details you want to click on edit profile on the bottom left you want to then click on the latest version thing there and change it to 1.7.2 then you want to click play it will download all the files that makes minecraft run here once minecraft is running you may get some not responding error messages but just leave it don't touch anything then you want to once you're in the game just press quit game now you want to uh, click on the forge thing and uh, just don't change anything on there, press OK and it will install forge. Then you want to go to your Minecraft launcher, you want to click on the profile and you should see that there is a forge profile. With this forge profile you want to play as your player and then press play. Just make sure that it's 1.7.2 forge in the bottom right. Once this is going, you want to click options. You want to then 
click the resource packs, go to your resource pack folder and then you want to go back a folder to your dot minecraft folder you want to click mods and then you want to go to your download show in folder for the uh, pixel mod thing and just copy and paste it into your mods folder then you want to run the forge profile again and this time if you go to mods it should say that pixel one is there you can obviously disable it so that is the installation done look in the bottom right for the time that that was done in hopefully and you can play it I hope this tutorial has helped you a lot and I have some links in the description that you may want to see thank you Goodbye.